The vision for the Johns Hopkins All Children's Pediatric Residency Program is really to develop leaders in pediatric medicine. Whether they are leaders in the community or leaders at a higher level, our curriculum really supports um, leadership and personal and professional development. One of the biggest things that makes this program different is that they really focus on your long-term career goals and they allow the residents to individualize their experience here. Some of the things that we try to also instill in our residents are uh, skills in advocacy, to advocate for those patients that are in the community, scholarship skills so that they can still work on the evidence of medicine and continue to be lifelong learners, as well as leadership skills and understanding their own personal leadership style and how they work well with teams. Well, a, a lot of uh, the formation of this program, and it is a relatively new program, but kind of getting more and more established, um, was that they wanted residents to be actively involved in forming the, the ideals and the, the goals behind this program. So. Um, mind mapping is something that we've done kind of as a big group just to establish what those goals are and how we can incorporate them. And they take that feedback and they incorporate it almost in real time, which is something that I've never really heard of another program doing. So. At the beginning of intern year, you're assigned a, a group or a number. We have four PAC groups and there's someone from every year, including faculty. And that's basically your home for the, the entire residency program. Those are your people that you go and you talk to when you're having a tough day, that you talk to you when you're having a great day, that you have all of your educational questions, your life questions, just a family when you can't be with your normal family. The program is so unique um, and very individualized to the person. I rotated in Baltimore my second year. Uh, I did a rotation in pediatric dermatology because it's something I was interested in. It was awesome seeing the differences but yet still being so connected is a nice experience. One of the most valuable and innovative pieces of our residency program is LEAD. LEAD stands for Leadership Executive Academic Development. The LEAD curriculum really incorporates um, leadership topics such as your personal leadership style as well as how you work well in a team with other uh, topics that are important for the development of uh, physicians outside of the clinical environment such as um, understanding population health and the community, understanding ethics uh, and ethical topics as well as the business of medicine and personal uh, finance and and understanding for physicians. One of my favorite talks this past year was a negotiation talk um, and it was by a female who came out of the Air Force and she was used to doing uh, high stakes negotiations and how she broke it down. The concept of LEAD threads kind of throughout the rest of their curriculum. It's then brought up in their rotations, it's brought up in their pack groups. It becomes part of the culture of our residents. This is what is going to make our residents stand out for themselves when they graduate. LEAD is awesome. Treating a patient is so much more, especially today, um, than just knowing the medicine and being able to treat their disease. We're taught and we have to see each person as an individual um, and kind of meet their needs. Nailed it. Get off with the other one. One of the goals for the program is to learn more about families in general. And in pediatrics, you're treating more than just the patient in front of you. You can go to any residency program and get great pediatric training. But what we offer is the other parts of being a doctor that no one really otherwise teaches you. The parts that make you successful, as in learning about yourself, leadership skills, understanding collaboration, and really individualizing it to you. And we were built with education as the forefront of the thought as opposed to service in the hospital. So our resident hospital team is really there to learn how to take care of hospitalized patients and not to cover every patient in the hospital. So that allows our residents more flexibility to be able to do something such as the Lead the Pack curriculum and be able to focus on other skills other than just clinical medicine. With that being said, our, our clinical teams do take care of some of the most complex patients in Florida. Uh, so our residents get excellent clinical training when they are in the hospital. 
The goal for any residency program is to create well-rounded, proficient general pediatricians who are going to go out and do good in their field. I think this program also adds some components to that where we're going to go out and do great work in our community. We're going to go out and, and do great work for our individual patients as people and not just as, as medical problems or as diseases. Don't make it too bright. I'll, we'll try not to make it too bright. And on multiple levels, we are very prepared to go out and be physicians and, and leaders in our field. Find where you feel at home. Like from day one, I felt like I was at home and like I was with a family. So follow your heart.